and my articles on the India Iran love affair. So I'm going to actually talk about how India is actually getting ready to sign the preference trade agreement and a joint investment agreement with Iran. Now, India and Iran have actually had a very good, strong relationship in terms of economically and culturally. Their relationship actually started way back during the Cold War time when India was initially in support of the US and Iran is support Soviet Union. However, during the 1979 Iranian revolution, India led a lot of support to Iran. And then also India and Iran have signed a lot of um, deals and agreements like the 2003 uh, New Delhi Declaration and even the 2000 Iran Tehran Declaration. Furthermore, India and Iran both supported the uh, Northern Alliance in Afghanistan against the Taliban. And because of this, India and Iran have had strong ties together. Now, culturally, India and Iran are very significantly close. There are a lot of Iranian Shis that, are live, in in, that live in India. India recognizes um, uh, the Mohram as a very prominent festival and gives it a declared holiday, which is actually a festival for the Sheikh Muslim that celebrate in Iran. Economically, now India and Iran also have a lot of agreements. Um, India constantly invests in Iran's Shabir port, and by investing in this Shabir port, India has access to other Asian and uh, Middle Eastern countries by, by and without accessing them through via Pakistan. Furthermore, um, India has also invested in a lot of other Iranian and Iranian uh, exports and imported products. Furthermore, India takes in majority of its oil from Iran. However, lately India was facing in a pickle because US had unilaterally imposed sanctions on Iran, making it quite difficult for India to take in their products from Iran. Because this is because India is having good strong agreements with the US and with Iran. But with Donald Trump pulling out the Iran nuclear deal and imposing sanctions, India was actually caught into a sort of a triangle where they don't know what to do. But then India was lifted, in, but then the sanctions were lifted off India and India could import from Iran until the March of next year so that they would be able to meet their economic requirement and reduce their uh, reliance on Iran. However, um, what has happened instead that India and Iran have entered into a lot of deals and agreements with India actually signing a new agreement that all further all further agreements will be made in rupees and no longer in dollar, neglecting the dollar and import of the US value. So coincidentally, what is happening now that India and Iran are actually strengthening their relationships, but then India has also got in a crossfire between India and USA and India and Iran and US and Iran. So now what happens India has to do is it has to choose a sort of a way or a policy in which that the relations between Iran and the US no longer stagnates, therefore India will not be caught in a crossfire. So this is what my entire article about, the India-Iran relationship and how it's sort of proceeding as of now. Thank you.